Hey YouTube, Zach Stone here, lead instructor for Electrical PE Reviews online review course for the Electrical Power PE exam. The following video is taken directly from our lesson on demand calculations. If you'd like to try this lesson and many others for free, sign up for a free trial at www.electricalpereview.com. Link is in the description of this video. You can try this lesson out along with many others for free. All you need is a valid email address. All right, enjoy the following video lesson on demand calculations and billing costs for large power electrical customers. All right, welcome to the last video for demand calculations. If you've made it this far, I'm assuming you're getting pretty comfortable working with all of these new units and using the unit conversions correctly using fractions like we talked about in our first video. Now we're gonna look at a large power electrical billing. Now, we're still getting charged based on any power factor penalties, like on the medium power customer. But now we have two different tiers for our demand. So in the past with both residential and medium power, there were only different tiers for our energy consumption, right? For our kilowatt hours. Then in the medium power, we had the introduction of a demand charge. Now in our large power billing, You'll notice we've got a demand charge for the first 200,000 kW of billing demand, then an additional tier for any remaining billing demand in excess of 20,000 kW. All right, ready to try this one? Let's take a look. So this problem says, okay, determine the total monthly cost and average cost per kilowatt hour, just like we've done so far, for a large power customer that consumed a total of, wow, 15 million kilowatt hours in one billing period with a maximum demand of 22,000 kW and 24,000 kVA. All right, right off the bat, you'll notice instead of having the maximum demand in kilowatts and the power factor, now we've got the two separate maximum demands, both in kilowatts and kVA. So first we notice there's a note on power factor. It's the same thing. It's a requirement of at least 0.9. If the customer has a power factor of less than 0.9, the KVA demand will need to be used. All right, does that mean we can jump straight to our maximum demand KVA and use it? Mm, not so fast. Let's go ahead and make sure our customer either meets or fails to meet the minimum value for the power factor. All right, how do we do that? We said that power factor is a fraction, right, between our parent power and our active power. But how do we know which one to put on top of that fraction? Well, we know power factor is gonna be at most one, but really it's gonna be usually a little smaller than one, right? That means our bigger number is gonna be on the bottom, so that's gonna be S, our KVA, and our smaller number, P, in kilowatts is gonna be on top. So our maximum demand in kilowatts is 22,000, and our maximum demand in KVA is 24,000. Did our customer meet the minimum basic requirements? Let's find out. So I've got 22,000 divided by 24,000, and I get 0 0.917. Look at the chart. We need at least 0 0.9. It looks like our customer is in fact in the clear, and we can use for the billing demand, the maximum demand in kilowatts of 22,000. All right, let's go ahead and start calculating the power cost. The first line here, the first 20,000 kW of billing demand. So I've got $3.07 per kW, being real careful with those units. Now, first 20,000 of billing demand. Our billing demand is greater than 20,000. So at this rate, we're only going to be charged for the first 20,000. So 20,000 kW. All right. Next, remaining billing demand in excess of 20,000 kW. Again, notice there's no H here for hours. We're still working with demand. This is the next tier in the demand billing. So our rate is $2.05 per kilowatt, not kilowatt hours. All right, excess of 20,000. So we had a total of 22,000 kW and we already accounted for or paid for 20,000 kW. That means we only have 
2,000 kilowatts of our demand left to be charged for. So this $2.05 rate per kilowatt is only going to be multiplied by 2,000 kilowatts. All right, let's look at the first tier of our energy charge. We've got 8 mils per kilowatt hour. Now, what's the quick conversion to convert this to dollars? We know that that's the third decimal place of a dollar. So I'm going to have 0 0.00, 0, there's a cents, and 8, there's the mil, per kilowatt hour. There's our first hour. That's our first energy charge. All right, let's see. First 10 million. All right, we've got 15 million, right? We've got greater than the first 10 million we're going to count for. So I'm going to go ahead and write 10 million. That's one, two, three, four, five, six zeros kilowatt hours. All right. Next energy charge is 10 million kilowatts. The following 10 million kilowatts at seven mils per kilowatt hours. Again, what's the quick conversion for mils? I've got 0, 0.00, there's the cents, 7, there's the mils per kilowatt hours. Now, how much power do we account for? Well, let's see. This is the next 10 million. So we accounted for 10 million, and we consumed a total of 15 million. So we know if I've got 15 million kilowatt hours, right? That's our total minus what we already accounted for, 10 million. We have yet to account for, or we have yet to pay for the remaining 5 million kilowatt hours. So down here at 7 mils per kilowatt hour, we've got 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros kilowatt hours. All right, now remaining power at 6.5 mils per kilowatt hours. Do we have any remaining power? No, right? We already counted for our total 15 million. So we can just completely ignore that last line. Why? It'd be like having the rate multiplied by zero. So I'm just going to draw a straight line here. And we're going to add these all up to find our total monthly bill. But first, because I'd hate to get all this way, especially on the exam, just to get the wrong answer because I made a quick mistake previously, let's double check both our demand and our power consumption. So right here, we know our billing demand is 22,000 kW. I'm going to add up these two values here should add up to 22,000. So 20,000 kW plus 2,000 kW we know equals 22 kW, all right? We accounted for every kW of our demand. Now let's look at our energy charges. Let's add up 10 million kilowatt hours plus 5 million kilowatt hours. Should add up to our total consumption. And of course it does. It adds up to our total consumption of 15 million kilowatt hours. And okay, we're good there. We accounted for all of our consumption. Now it's time to bring it all home and find our total power consumption. So from left to right, top to bottom. In my calculator, I've got $3.07, 3.07 times 20,000 plus 2.05 times 2,000 plus 0 0.008 times 10 million. So that's a 10 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros plus our last energy charge of 0 0.007 times 5 million. So that's times 5 followed by one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And I hit enter on my calculator and I get a total charge of 180,500 dollars. All right, that's our total monthly bill. Now, are we done? No, right? We've got one more thing to find. The question said, what's the average cost per kilowatt hour? So, same thing as before, I'm going to make some quick room. We're looking for dollars per kilowatt hours. That's my clue to know that I needed to put my total cost on top of my fraction, right? Because I want dollars on top. 
So I've got 180,500. Next to find per every kilowatt hour consumed, I divide by our total consumption of 15. So that's 15 followed by one, two, three, four, five, six zeros kilowatt hours. I do a quick check on the units before I move forward, just because I know on demand calcs, units can get real tricky. So I've got dollars on top, kilowatt hours on bottom, nothing cancels, right? So that would leave us in dollars per kilowatt hours. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. So in my calculator, I'm going to punch in. I've got I've got 180,500 still stored from the last calculation. So I'm just going to hit divide. Well, I've got it handy. And then I'm going to type in 15 followed by six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hit enter and I come up with, and again, I'm going to round it to the nearest mill just because that's the level of accuracy we've been working with so far from the problem itself. So I've got 0.012 dollars per kilowatt hours or 12 mils per kilowatt hour all right that's just about it for all the videos on demand calculations and once again as long as you pay attention to the units and you make sure you've got the right units on top and bottom, uh, generally you're going to be okay. And one quick note too on the PE exam, it's unlikely that you're going to have to calculate from top to bottom the total cost of a medium or large power customer just because you'll notice it is pretty time consuming even if you know what you're doing. Uh, that doesn't mean you won't see one, it just means chances are you won't see one in that depth. However, as you'll find in the quiz, there's gonna be a couple of questions where you need to know the process, right? This total process in order to solve for very specific quantities within these tables and quantities contained within the total bill. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck with the quiz.